Hello, people of grace. We are coming up on the second Sunday of Advent, which uh, is traditionally that Advent candle is known as the faith candle. So I want to take a few minutes today to talk about faith, and we'll be talking about it more in our Sunday worship service. Uh, but for today, I want to just talk about faith in the book of Revelation. There are four different times in the book of Revelation where the idea of keeping the faith is mentioned. And I think that those four examples from the book of Revelation give us four characteristics of faith that I want to talk about for just a few minutes today. Um, the first one is in Revelation chapter 2, verse 13. And here Jesus speaks to the church at Pergamos and says, I know where you dwell, where Satan's throne is, yet you hold fast my name. And you did not deny my faith, even in the days of Antipas, my faithful witness, who was killed among you, where Satan dwells. So you did not deny the faith, and you have the example of Antipas, a faithful witness. Now at that time, when John wrote the book of Revelation, Pergamos was the seat of emperor worship in the province of Asia Minor. And Antipas was, according to church history, um, the bishop of Pergamos, or the senior pastor or lead pastor of Pergamos, uh, installed by the Apostle John himself. And under the reign of the Emperor Nero, he was uh, put to death by the pagan priest in that city. Um, he's actually uh, burned alive in a bull-shaped cauldron, according to church history. And yet he did not, did not deny the faith. And... Um, Later, that, as I mentioned, that became the seat of emperor worship in the province of Asia Minor. So that's Satan's throne, is this emperor worship cult and people being persecuted for not saying that Caesar is Lord. Uh, but the, the one big point from that little exchange is that Jesus said, even though you're in this really dark, difficult place, and even though your previous pastor, a previous pastor, was actually killed for his faith, you... Hold fast my name. And the idea of hold fast is strong. So faith hangs on to the name of Jesus. Faith is tenacious that way. And we need to make sure that we are challenging ourselves to tenaciously hang on to the name of Jesus, even when we feel like times are really dark or hard. The second mention is just a little bit further down in Revelation chapter 2. The second mention of faith is... When Jesus speaks to the church of Thyatira, and he says, I know your works, your love and faith and service and patient endurance, and that your latter works exceed the first. So here, in a letter that's actually pretty critical of Thyatira, Jesus offers a word of encouragement, that there were a core group of followers of Jesus there who were growing. And he says, I know your works, your love and faith and service and patient endurance. And I would just boil all that down to this. Faith serves, and it serves lovingly and patiently and enduringly. Faith serves patiently. So we want to have a strong faith that hangs on to the name of Jesus. We want to keep serving each other lovingly and patiently. And then the third mention of faith, or the faith, in Revelation chapter 13 is actually in a really dark chapter. Revelation 13, I just mentioned, is when the beast is being loosed on the earth, the Antichrist. And it, geez, the, the book of Revelation gives these difficult words. If anyone is to be taken captive, to captivity he goes. If anyone is to be slain with the sword, with the sword must he be slain. Here is a call for the endurance and faith of the saints. So that's the darkest time in human history uh, shortly before the second coming of Christ. And there's a very toxic and blatant evil at work. And I've talked about how this world is infested with evil in three primary forms, totalitarian government, um, rampant you know, multinational corporate greed, that's the prostitute that rides the beast, and then the than the false prophet, false belief systems. And Revelation 13 speaks of a time when that reaches its peak. And the saints are persecuted. 
and many of them will be killed for their faith. Um, but as John writes the book of Revelation, he challenges them, here is a call for the endurance and faith of the saints. So faith accepts the world and reality as it is. Faith has acceptance of what is. So faith is tenaciously, strongly hangs on to the name of Jesus. Faith serves patiently and lovingly. Faith accepts things as they are. And then finally, in Revelation chapter 14, as uh, the persecution of God's people is mentioned again, it says, here is a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. So faith endures, and it endures in two very specific ways. It keeps or it guards or it protects or it values the commandments of God. And it keeps or it guards or it protects or it values a very personal faith in Jesus. Faith endures. So from the book of Revelation, we get kind of a fourfold snapshot of faith. Faith hangs on strongly and tenaciously to the name of Jesus. Faith serves patiently and lovingly other people. Faith accepts the world the way it is. And faith endures even in the darkest times. In short, we need to contend for the faith. If I can mention a quote from Jude, he challenges us to earnestly contend for the faith that's been entrusted to us. Now this Sunday is the second Sunday of Advent, and as I mentioned at the beginning of this Pastoral Connect, the focus will be on faith. Uh, but I want to close with just backing up a little bit and looking at these two churches in Revelation yeah. chapter 2, the church at Pergamos and the church at Thyatira. When you research those two churches, in some ways they were train wreck congregations. Um, but both of them also demonstrated a growing and even kind of tenacious faith. And I find that encouraging because all of us are a bit train wreckish. We all have aspects of our souls that we're not proud of, that are a mess. Um, but we also can all hang on tenaciously to the name of Jesus. We also can all serve one another patiently and lovingly. We also can all work on being more accepting of what is and practicing contentment. And we can all hold ourselves accountable to endure even the darkest nights of the soul. We can all do this. And by faith, we will. And that is an encouraging thought. So be a person of faith. Be tenacious. Serve. Be accepting. Endure and be encouraged as we consider the second Sunday of Advent and the advent of faith through the birth of Jesus throughout this week. Have a blessed day.